My name is Ashton. I moved from America to Germany at the age of 19. I'm now 21 and living here still. And I want to take you around and shoot my city on film. So we're going to go out. We're running a local film store. We're going to buy some film, whatever is cheapest, because I'm broke. And then we're going to go shoot this around the whole city. I'm going to try and document the process on what it's like, what the people are like, what it's like living here. And it's going to be a good time. So I received this film camera when I was back home for the holidays and my grandpa gave it to me and I'm really excited to go take this around, shoot film and to have this video so that he can see back home in Minnesota what life is like over here. I hope to eventually travel places and use this almost as an excuse to get out and go travel because sometimes it's like, hey, you know, we got a lot to do, we got work, I want to work on this project, that project, but just the excuse of forcing yourself to do something fun, like take film pictures, kind of opens up the door to experience new stuff and experience new places. I bet. So we're here at the, I don't know how to translate it, like a hand worker station for like artsy, craftsy stuff. Oh, this is the 200 Kodak Gold. I think it'll work well. This photo here, it kind of confuses me why I took it. It was still in my warm up time. I was allowed to take not good photos. But uh, I don't know what this is of, I guess the plants. Yeah, I guess the plants. And the door is also there. And there are out of focus little string lights in front of my lens. So I don't necessarily know what this is supposed to be of, but I took it with my own bare hands and it is what it is. It was my first shot of the roll. Get over it. This shot I really like. I like it because of when I cropped it to 2.4 by one. It gives us this kind of, you know, thin down scene and then the light is hitting this girl sitting at the coffee shop and the tables and chairs in the bottom right hand corner do not leave that feeling empty which i enjoy i enjoy having things in my photos this photo it is what it is i like the vastness i like the scale a little bit i like the lamp posts on each side of the windows and the main subject is in between the most in between of the windows he is in the center of the windows that is how you would say that the lighter colors are still getting that kodak gold goodness this thing looks fine This one is kind of interesting. I, it's not, a, there's not a lot to it. The blues up top and then the kind of leading subject just got hit by this really nice light that I wanted to see on Kodak Gold, being that I've never shot it before. Somehow that light makes it feel a little bit more open, which is cool. All right, we got Nuremberg Original. This is a beautiful church. This photo, I like. I like this one. This is a cool book book stand that this homeboy runs. And he's just got old German books. And then you have the colors of the reds, which I love in this picture. And then you got the guy running it on the rule of thirds line onto the right hand side. I don't think it's awful. And then this shot is homeboy picking out a book from said bookstore. And then on top of book stands, with the OGs running the book stands, we got our OGs running the fruit stands. Oh my goodness. Absolute legends. And then we go into the church. We had somebody in the middle doing something. Everybody I've shown this picture to is like, what is he doing? And I'm like, man, 
crazy. Photos making you ask questions. That's art. I've got this one, which is kind of just taken from oh, looking out one of the big stained glass windows. And I also have a thing for stained glass. Wonderful, immaculate vibes. Stained glass vibes, eh, bro. If you're not on stained glass, you are doing something wrong. But we have that and then we have our pillars in the way, but I don't like the position of this. I don't like how we have that big fat pillar in the middle. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. And then most of all, you have that light coming in, which I love. So I'm gonna speak pretty quietly into this, but by far one of my favorite parts of living in Germany is the churches. I'm like a fiend. I'm literally a fiend for churches. Like, my first video game ever was Castlevania, Circle of the Full Moon. That game hits. That game goes nuts. We are sending it. That's not good. called learning by doing. Read a book. It's the loudest backpack in the whole church. Let's go. This shot is interesting. Um, I think I went through way too much work than it's worth, but I wanted to get a sense of that vertical vastness and this is my attempt at it. So this is what you get. This is what I got. This one was cropped to 2.4 by one, and I shot this at three by two, and I didn't like it at all, but I think when I cropped it to 2.4 by one, massively improved what was going on there. Yeah, there's a bridge. We got, we got some rivers running through our city. Yeah, here's a bridge over said river. This photo I have beef with. This photo I have beef with. So here's a sculpture, which I think is sweet. I'm shooting out there without my light meter for my camera, so I'm using a light meter app on my phone. I set it all up, and I'm like clearly taking a picture of these two people. <laughs> Gosh, get it all set up, get all my settings set up on my camera. At the last second, lady walks in, and these two people start walking. I don't know if it would have been a good photo otherwise, but cool sculpture. Sculpture is still rad. All right, this is either gonna be one that I like or one that I'm like, why I take this? All right, Let's see if we can't cook here. Yeah, should be cookable. Let's try it. Oof. Snuck that right before the people got in. Let's see what's up. Let's see if we cooked. This photo I like. This photo I like a lot. I don't know what that is, to be honest with you. This golden spire in the middle of this market area but it's there and I think it looks cool and I think the film did an awesome job getting the colors that are on it I don't know I like the colors I love that there's headroom over the spire thing and then there's a little bit of space on the bottom to show what's going on okay we definitely have a problem of some sort because that was 36 exposures and I know not all of them are gonna show up like in the video. Problem is, I have a lot more of the city that I want to show. And you can see literally, the churches, dude, I literally cannot get enough of the churches. The churches hit some Castlevania Gothic architecture part of me. Bro, Castlevania, Circle of the Full Moon, bro. For the Game Boy, if you have a Game Boy, go on eBay, buy that game. It's insane. It's on Steam, too. Castlevania. Bro, my point is, the churches are lit, and I love the architecture in them, but, gosh, Castlevania, bro. Anyways, I have more that I want to show, and I don't, I have one frame of film left, so, yeah, I don't know what to do. Should I go shoot this church? Like, like, ph <laughs> photograph this church, just in case, you know, non-native English, photography language, or should I photograph 
not shoot. Right, that could be a certified banger. So I think I'll go hit up another church. I should just I should just visit famous churches. That'd actually be lit, dude. Talk about Castlevania every single time. We'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. All right, bet. This could be another certified classic. This photo, I have mixed feelings about this photo. It was so silent in there, and I'm setting all my things, I'm metering, and on the outside of this, you can barely see it in this photo, but there's a little bit of a cross, and there, that it's a cross with Jesus on the outside, and I really love that touch, and I thought it would be cool if I could get that kind of contrast in the highlights of that to let it come through and show like, hey, that's what this is about. I really like that idea and it didn't work specifically. I tried to lower the highlights in, in post and it did not work perfectly, but I think I'm gonna go shoot in there and just reframe it so it's that one window domed area and then get super low dark shadows and just try and get that silhouette of the cross on that church. I think that's sweet, but I like the depth. I like how it's leading you there. I like how there's lines. I like the color of it. Overall, pretty good. I hope this illustrates what kind of day-to-day -day life looks like here. It was just a normal day of the week, and I think it shows just kind of the contrast between where I was a few years ago, where I am now, and I'm going to continue to show that over here. There's a lot of cool stuff over here, and I'm trying to see it. And again, I think I touched on this point in the beginning, but I really like the idea of not taking the photos too seriously, um, but rather just using it as an excuse to go explore and appreciate uh, different environments. So yeah, this is my first video and I liked making it and they're gonna get better. If you wanna stick around and find out uh, when the new ones come out, when the better ones come out, when the better photos, when the better episodes of Grandpa's camera come out, I know you want it. Like, I know you need that in your life. So you gotta hit up all of the buttons down there and I will see you then. All right, peace.